To find critical values for means using your TI-84 is a little bit different process than we did for proportions in two ways, actually. Before, all we had to do was say, hey, 90%, we're good to go. Now, because our menu option on our T84 is a little bit different, we're going to have to do a little bit more work. So, in this case, let's say I'm doing a 90% interval. That means that there's 10% on the outsides of my interval. So there's 90% in here, and there's 10% on the outsides, which means 5% here and 5% here. So what I really want to know is what's this number right here? And that number right there would be 0.95. Now why would it be 0.95? Because there's 5% here and there's 90% here, leaving 95% total to the left of this value. So now let's take a look at the 95% interval using RTA84. We're going to go to the same place we did before, second vars. Notice now, because this is not the normal model, this is our T model, which is what we use for means, I'm going to choose inverse T, and the area for a 90% interval, I have to put in 0.95. Now that's confusing for a lot of people, but remember, we're saying there's 95% to the left of our value, and you have to enter your degrees of freedom. Let's say our sample size is 20, that means our degrees of freedom is 19 and then we click enter and that's going to give us our critical value that we should be using for a confidence interval with means.